Hello friends, welcome back to another preschool story time with the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Shana and I'll be your storyteller today. We're going to start with a song called I'm So Glad I'm Here. And though I am so glad to be here in the library, I wish you were here with me. Hopefully we get to do that soon. I'm so glad that I'm here, glad that I'm here, glad that I'm here. I hear the story time fairy. Hello, story time fairy. Is this for me? Thank you so much. But this doesn't look like the story time basket. Uh huh. Oh, oh, okay. It's a very special, spooky story time cauldron. Well, thank you, story time fairy. See you next time. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. <gasps> I think there's something spooky in here. Let's see. Ooh, a bat. One bat. And is that, is that another bat? Two, two bats. How do bats like to hang in their cave? Do they like to hang standing up like this? No, they like to hang upside down, right? That makes me think of a rhyme called Two Little Black Bats. And you can do this rhyme with me by showing me your two pointer fingers. Good. Two little black bats hanging in a cave. One named Dracula. One named Dave. Fly away, Dracula. Fly away, Dave. Come back, Dracula. Come back, Dave. Two little black bats hanging on a cloud. One named Quiet, the other named Loud. Fly away, Quiet. Fly away, Loud. Come back, Quiet. Come back loud. Two little black bats sitting in the snow. One named fast. The other named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. <laughs> Great job. Today's story is about a little bat who dreams that he had superpowers. It's called Super Bat, 
It's written and illustrated by Matt Carr, and I'm reading this to you today with permission from Scholastic Press. It was the middle of the day, and Pat the Bat could not sleep. He was bored of hanging around in a dark cave. He wanted to be special, like the superheroes in his favorite comics. And then it hit him. Pow! Pat had a great idea and he set to work. It was not easy using mom's sewing machine and his wings kept getting in the way. Keep the noise down, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, she yells. But after a couple of hours, his outfit was ready. Pat became Super Bat. What do you think of his outfit? Pretty cute. When the other bats woke up, they were all surprised. I'm Super Bat, said Pat. Wow, said Gary. So what are your superpowers? I have super hearing, boasted Pat. So do we, his friend screeched. Good point, muttered Pat. All the other bats gathered round to see Super Bat. Can you lift a car with your mighty muscles, asked Gary. Or shoot laser beams out of your eyes, added Glenda. Well, no, said Pat, his voice wobbling a bit. But I can fly. He leapt into the air. We can all fly, the other bats chuckled. What else can you do? Pat tried to think of another super skill. He felt like every bat in town was staring at him. He was very nervous. Um, uh, I have echolocation, which means I can find my way in the dark. Ha ha ha, the bats all laughed. Well, that's nothing special. We can all do that. I can't do that, can you do that? Pat trudged off home. His wings drooped, his ears flopped. He did not feel special anymore. I'm just a normal bat in a silly outfit, he sighed, trying not to cry. Just as Pat was about to rip off his suit and cape and throw them away, his supersonic hearing picked up a faint cry. Help! Help! <gasps> On the other side of town, a big bad cat had trapped a family of mice. Pat's wings spread out, his ears perked up. He bravely flew across the city as fast as his little wings would carry him. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Uh, I think it's a bat in a funny little costume. Pat swooped in like a blur of fur. The big bad cat took a swat, but he missed Super Bat. Pat dived back down again and flapped his wings really fast. Wham! And he scared the mean cat away. The mice were free. You saved us, they cried. Thank you. But who are you, oh masked crusader? My hero. Pat smiled modestly. Me? I'm no one special. Oh yes, you are, cried his bat friends who had followed Pat across town and seen his heroics. And you do have a superpower, courage. You truly are a super bat. And as Pat flew back to the bat cave for a good day's sleep with his friends behind him all the way, he really did feel rather special. The
end. This story is called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Bat. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat. Gulp. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed in. Woo, woo. Owl. Gulp. And my, oh my, she started to howl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat, but I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a... Meow. Meow. Cat. Go. And what do you think? Now she's quite fat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. But I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a ghost. And what do you think? She liked it the most. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. But I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a gablin gulp. And it made her so dizzy she started to spin. Ooh. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. But I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed some bones. Gulp. There were so many she started to groan. Oh. She swallowed the bones to rattle the goblin. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a wizard. Go. To cast a spell so she could yell. Trick or treat. Burp. Excuse me. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.